Hi folks, this is all the fruit, and today I will be reviewing some quite unusual citrus fruit from a Persian fruit shop on my way to a stopover in Dubai in order to get to Malaysia. I'm sitting in a Syrian restaurant and I'm gonna review those Iranian fruit in a cold German street with some Mediterranean olives growing along it. Yeah, it's getting quite international. But let's focus on the Persian Iranian part. That's the important part. That's the fruit part of the video. Or no, let's first focus on our, well, basic knowledge on the stuff that's hardwired into our Western brains. Lemon is yellow and sour. You use it to make lemonade. That's where the name lemonade comes from. Orange is mostly quite sweet and orange. That's where the name orange for the color comes from. Well, if you go to Persia, they're also quite reversed. <clears throat> Here you have the limo, Sherin, or the sweet lemon of Persia. And here you have the naranj, or the sour orange. Well, with limo, Sherin, we are not quite sure what species this is. There are sources which claim that this is Citrus limeta. Others claim that it's just a mutation of Citrus lemon. Okay, I'm being very popular here. I think soon a couple Germans are going to be on YouTube without knowing it. Well, no. Let's keep this focused on the fruit. So, Limo Sherin. Yes, science still hasn't agreed if this is um, Citrus Limeta or a Citrus Lemon. The Naranj is a Citrus Aurantium, the normal sour or bitter orange, which is not very popular nowadays in Western culture. It was the first orange introduced to Europe, but after the sweet orange got introduced, this one basically got a niche role as an ornamental, mostly in slightly uh, more harsh climates where the sweet orange doesn't grow so well. In Persia, <coughs> in Persian cuisine, both are very popular. Let's first try this sweet lemon, which might be a sweet lime. Well. Thin skin, that's more lime-like. Also the smooth, roundish shape. Yeah, that's also more lime-like for me. Mm, sweet but no sourness and the nice. Rather lime-like flavor. And now the sour orange, the so-called naranj. Well, it's called naranj in Iran or Persia. It's well known in many other countries from China to America. Sour. So, this is sweet, this is sour, however. When it comes to flavors, this has the flavor of a lime. Well, this has the flavor of an orange. So the looks were not completely misleading. This might be sweet and this might be sour. But this still tastes of a lime without the sourness, while this tastes of an orange with a lot of sourness and a lot less sweetness. Both are very useful in Persian cuisine. This one is of course favored because of its sourness combined with the orange flavor. This one is not so much used as a spice, basically lemons or limes are spices in most parts of the world. This is rather used for its juice and especially to fight cold and other diseases during the cold part of the year. I mean, how often did you want to gobble down a lot of lemons because you were sick and needed the vitamin C? This here has, by the way, quite a high vitamin C content, but it was too sour. Well, here you can have a lot of lemon juice without the sourness. Very convenient. And how often did you wish for some nice sour citrusy flavor in your food? Either in some sweets or in some savory food, but with some orange flavor. Mm. With those two fruit, you can 
basically match those quite counterintuitive things. Lime and vitamin C without sourness and sour citrus with orange flavor. Well, folks, I'm in a hurry to catch my bus. I don't want, I'm already eight days, no, nine days late to get to Kuala Lumpur. If I miss my bus, I might have to spend a couple more weeks. In the cold German winter, it might be a mild stay, but it's still too cold for me. Well, I hope you liked this video about the Persian sweet lemons and sour oranges. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos. Hopefully the next ones will be from Dubai and Malaysia. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.